Hi, in this video, I am going to demonstrate the process of creating Azure PostgreSQL Server Cluster from pgAdmin. This feature is available in pgAdmin version 6.12 onwards and allows users to quickly create and start using PostgreSQL on Azure. Open the pgAdmin, right click on the server group and select a deploy cloud instance option from the register context menu. Select the Azure PostgreSQL as a cloud provider and click on the next button. Before creating the Azure PostgreSQL instance, Azure authentication should be completed, which can be done either using interactive browser mode or using Azure CLI mode. Azure CLI mode can be used only when running pgAdmin in desktop mode with the Azure CLI installed on the local system. It uses the currently logged in identity through Azure CLI to complete the authentication. Here I am using interactive browser mode. In case of interactive browser mode, enter the tenant ID in which server will be created. Click on click here to authenticate yourself to Microsoft Azure button. It opens a new window for Microsoft Azure authentication. Enter the code shown on the wizard in the authentication window. And click on next. Enter email or user ID for your Microsoft Azure account. Enter the password. And click on sign in button. Click continue to complete the authentication. Once authentication is completed, close the window. A message is shown on wizard saying authentication is completed. Click on the next button. Enter the cluster name Azure PostgreSQL instance. Select the subscription from drop down. Select the resource group from the drop down or to create a new, just type a new resource group name. Select the location. Here I am selecting East Asia. Select the ability zone. In version and instance details, select the database version. Let's select 14. According to your workload, select the instance class. Let's select a general purpose. In instance type, I am selecting a instance with two CPUs and 8 GB of memory. Select the storage size from drop down. In the network connectivity section, by default, the IP address of your local machine will be populated, which will be added to the Azure PostgreSQL Server security group in order to allow traffic from your local machine. You can include a list of IP address or range of IP addresses if you want to allow traffic from more machines. Turning on zone redundant high ability will create a standby replica in different zone. Click on next button to proceed. Enter the admin username for a database. Enter the password for database user. Retype the same password to confirm. Click on next button to proceed. You can view the summary of configuration selected for the server before starting cloud deployment. Click on the finish button to start deployment. Click on the view process button on the notifier to view the process of cloud deployment. Click on the view details button corresponding to your process in the processes tab. The process watcher will provide information about the progress of cloud deployment. This icon indicates that the cloud deployment is in progress. The deployment might take some time. Ok, so a notifier is saying the process is completed. Let's check the status of cloud deployment in processes tab. The status is finished. Let's watch details about our cloud deployment. So the cloud deployment is completed successfully. You can also see the icon for server has changed to the server icon, which indicates the deployment is successful. Double click on the server and enter the password entered while deploying the cluster. 
check the properties tab to review the details about the server. So that's all about the Azure PostgreSQL deployment through PGAdmin. Thank you.